it's my pleasure to invite uh, Professor Bobby George, who's the who's from Department of uh, uh, Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras, but now currently he's heading the latest uh, department in the at the Institute Institute uh, Department of Medical Sciences and Technology. Uh, his expertise is in electrical engineering, but today I think he's going to introduce and uh, talk about what this new department vision is. So, Doctor. Good afternoon, friends. I will not take much time. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, so far you heard, uh, you know, interesting, in-depth, technical presentations. So, when I heard about this uh, program. Uh, I met Professor Revi, and uh, he said there's a program like this. I said, can you give five minutes? Uh, just He's like, <laughs> um, then he understood. This guy wants to pass this information about this department to the community. Then he said, okay, uh, 10 minutes, fine. So, But don't bore them much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I will, I will, uh, so, See, maybe you can consider this like, a, you know, maybe a, if in case you watch Rajanikanth movie in TV, in between some advertisement will come, right? <laughs> so something like that. <laughs> um, so this is a brief about uh, a new department uh, Institute has started. It's the 17th uh, department of the Institute, uh, Institute of uh, Department of Medical Sciences and uh, Technology. Uh, basically, I wanted to convey this information to you. Uh, what we are looking at, what we are doing, and so on, um, so that you know you can also inform your friends um, if somebody who is interested in this, and so on. Just to start with um, uh, the problems that require engineering knowledge. I mean, we all know, but I thought this may be a good point to mention. Um, if you go to a doctor, maybe in our childhood time, starts with this uh, conventional um, stethoscope. Of course, there is a nice engineering involved in that. And then uh, goes through several scans and so on, till PET scan and so on. So look at the engineering aspects there. But of course, it drains our pocket a little bit. At the same time, uh, it gives a lot of uh, valuable information. Without uh, being, I mean, without having uh, you know, very good engineers, these things would not have reached this stage, correct? But now we just look at the engineers who would have worked probably, you know, if he guess. See, there may be mechanical engineers, there may be electrical engineers, maybe general electric, they design the CT machines. So there may be doctors involved and so on, but there may not be someone who understand both, may not be available at that time, right? So we are looking at whether we can train people who knows both, means the physiology, anatomy, pharmacology, and all that, and an engineer's view of the human body. How does it work? Can I represent using mathematical models, and so on? Right. Yeah, so you may be thinking, you know, because uh, you are uh, AI and ML people, I'm not. So why not a digital twin, and so on? So if so, probably questions like this. Can we predict clinical outcomes? If so, how accurate it can be? Can we have virtual surgical theater? I mean, when we talk about training, I mean, cadaver lab, not an easy one. But we want the students to get a detailed understanding about the anatomy and so on. So this could be a way to do it. There are some systems already. Can we predict the long-term effect? I mean, COVID, we know, vaccine, we know. We don't know what will be after some years, the effect of it. We never know. I'm not threatening. I don't know about it. But as a common man, we may have this uh, thinking. So can we form the base for personalized medicine? I mean, uh, doctor was talking. Each person is different. Each disease, there are variations and so on. So this may be some interesting I mean, questions you might have already thought about. And um, what IIT Madras have been doing? Uh, IIT Madras already has a very good ecosystem. I mean, you may know the Brain Center, Healthcare Technology Innovation Center, and uh, there are people working on topics like, uh, you know, heart-assistive devices, uh, 
uh, artificial kidney, membranes, you know, fetal monitoring, of course, data science and machine learning in this domain. So we had a very good uh, ecosystem already. And then, you know, Chennai is the health capital of India. So why not? So this may be the best place to, you know, naturally form a department like this uh, with a vision of, you know, to develop a world-class research environment and education in medical sciences and technology to produce well-trained physician scientists and uh, technologists. Okay. So with that, we started. Uh, we have inaugurated the department uh, on May 11th. Uh, Lashmi Narayan was the chief guest. Uh, so IIT is known for you know, the engineering. Uh, and we have engineering faculty there. But that is not enough, of course. So, so, so far from what I was talking, correct? So how do you fill the gap of uh, doctors? So what we have done is, I mean, there were already several doctors working with ITM uh, for teaching and research and so on. So we approached them. And uh, we got many top doctors from Chennai to join the department as a professor of practice. Some of them are here. Uh, so we are currently. Uh, four engineering faculty and uh, 10 professor of practice uh, who are well-established doctors. So uh, they will be teaching and at the same time uh, supporting in research. So that's how uh, the department is formed. Um, and uh, of course, uh, we have a BS program. Uh, I will talk about that briefly later. Uh, and of course, we will also be introducing uh, master's and PhD programs soon. Um, so this kind of department where someone is getting trained, um, you know, having the idea of both um, is uh, quite unique. Uh, I don't want to go through the details now. Uh, as far as the research is concerned, we are looking at forming research group um, and organ-based research group. Uh, there will be doctors associated with that, and uh, there will also be industries uh, working in that domain, and that's how we are planning. Uh, to start with, um, of course, we don't have a medical school, so we are uh, collaborating with nearby um, hospitals. Uh, we have MOUs with them, so our students will be using their facility for the lab and so on. Yeah, so this, is a, this is a new program that we have introduced, uh, BS in Medical Sciences and Engineering. This is, what I was, uh, this is what I was initially mentioning. <clears throat> now, to give just a little more idea, uh, see, we are, we, we are just engineers, uh, but although we had this kind of thinking, how do we move forward? So what we have done is um, contacted these people. Basically, uh, he has been working with us for from uh, Ahen. Uh, he actually has a control system, electrical engineering. Uh, he is also a doctor. Uh, Professor Venkat, Professor Venkat, uh, uh, BTEC from electrical, and then now he is a neurosurgeon. These are people who have seen both, uh, doing both at the same time. So they said, this is wonderful, let's go. Uh, so then we made a curriculum, and they have given feedback, and then revised, uh, and so on. So that's how we started. Uh, the core objectives, I mean, I have already mentioned something like this. Uh, the students will study human physiology through the lens of the principles of engineering science. And um, they will study human anatomy, medical imaging. Imaging is a uh, significant topic, as you know. Uh, then develop mathematical models to understand functioning of the uh, physiological systems, and so on. Uh, understand the interactions between them. And uh, so basically, these portions they will study in the first two years, fundamentals. Two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and then they can specialize, let's say, in uh, organ based designs or medical imaging or AI and ML for medicine and so on. Right? Uh, I'll skip this. This is, uh, yeah. So, as I mentioned, there is, uh, you know, they will have fundamentals in all that I mentioned. And then they can also specialize, depending on their interest, uh, in the second year onwards. Right? So this is a unique program. Uh, and uh, this admission to this program is through the ICER aptitude test. 
So because we want the students who have some science inclination also. Uh, this year, the students have joined. Uh, we have 30 seats. We are happy that you know, uh, there are several applicants. And we are also thrilled that uh, top ranked students joined us. And uh, the first semester has started. Professor Kama is teaching. Uh, he taught the first class, uh, software skills for medical scientists. So that's how we are. Uh, so if you have any questions, please. If you need any information, uh, mst.itm.ac.in. Uh, yeah. I think I did not cross much. Okay, thank, yeah. you. Thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, please. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, being a physician myself, and I think there are a few more here in the audience, this is really, really very uh, encouraging because we've been struggling for many years to get physician scientists Correct. on board, which is essentially physicians doing research. So now to have a term physician here is fantastic. Yes, yes. Uh, I have a couple of questions. How much of immersion are you going to do in your course for your VSC students in a clinical setup? Because I think that's going to be a crux, you know, that's going to be their fundamental uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, course um, there. As I mentioned, most of the labs are going to be in uh, Ramachandra and so on. And then we also have a summer visit. No, so what do you mean by, sorry. What yeah, do you please. mean by labs? They'll be like, what I meant was actually sitting in the OPDs, sitting in the outpatient, in the clinics, in the operation theater, observing to yeah. be able to come so, back because yeah. that's what's going to be your outcome, right? Yes, yes, yes. The summer program is specifically meant for that. But none of your main courses? That's, a, that's, a, that's a part of the curriculum. Okay. And you'll be doing an internship uh, in the yes. hospitals yes. as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but that's going to be very, very important. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Thank sure. you. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Perfect job. Thank you.